Attention, all you whining, petty-ass, pathetic citizens. It's time for a little refresher course on exactly why we Americans occasionally have to fight wars to keep this nation great. See if you can tear yourself away from your reality TV and Starbucks for a minute and pull your head out of your ass and listen up. Abu Ghraib was not torture or an atrocity. Got that? This is an atrocity, and so is this. Which part about that don't you get? Islamic extremists are peaceful people. My ass they are. Millions of these warped, misled sons of bitches are plotting as we speak to destroy our country and our way of life. Some of these animals are here now. They don't want to convert us. They don't want to rule us. They believe we are a vile infestation of Allah's paradise. They don't give a shit how progressive you are. They don't give a shit how peace-loving you are or how much you sympathize with their cause. They want our infidel asses dead, and they think it's God's will for them to do it. Now, some folks think if we give them a hug or listen to them, sit around and sing Kumbaya, that they will like us and everything will be just fine. And if you agree with this perverse logic, you're a pathetic dumbass. If these assholes do ever manage to get their hands on a nuke, chemical agents, or some biological weapon like anthrax, you will wish to God we had hunted the sons of bitches down and killed them while we had the chance. How many more Americans must be headed? How many more atrocities must we put up with? You people have fallen asleep again. Now it's time to get your head out of your ass because you may never get another chance. Now get off your sorry asses and pass this warning along to each and every person you give a damn about. If you ever gave a damn about anything. That's all. God bless America. Dismissed.